All right, good morning, everybody. We are still at the Rush Creek campsite that we picked last night. And uh, I'm just about packed up, ready to go. We'll be heading up over Donahue Pass, up that way. We're three miles short of it. So we actually got up earlier this morning. It's currently 5.40 a.m. I'm gonna be out of here before six. I'm gonna get this, this pass crushed out before, you know, the sun comes up and starts heating up. But all together today, we got a 16 mile day to get down to Tuolumne Meadows campground. It's really the only way we're gonna be able to save this trip right now and make it to Yosemite in time. So big day today, and then the next two days will be average like 10 or 11 miles. So it, it should work out as long as we can put the miles in today. Uh, last night was beautiful. I mean, I was sleeping pretty much in my t-shirt and underwear. Uh, I got down to maybe 50 degrees and we're sitting at 10,000 feet right now. So very warm for this type of uh, environment. Uh, it's supposed to be warm down in the valley tomorrow, or today, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be warm down in Lyle Canyon and Tuolumne Meadows. I think it's going to be in like upper 80s. But yeah, we're ready to go, and uh, we'll update you later. Sometimes you gotta turn around and look behind you. Yeah. Wow. All right, just took our last break before Donahue Pass. We watered up. <laughs> Water break. <laughs> I'm sure we'll take some breaks on the way up. But here's uh, here's Donahue. Comes up that way, up and around that saddle there. You can't really see the pass itself. Got about a half mile left. Whew, what a climb. Walk in the park, Paul. Walk in the park. 10,746 10, feet. What do we got? So far. Got 300 feet left. to the beginning of the boundary of the Ansel Adams Wilderness 
which means we're in Yosemite down that way All right, let's hop a Donahue Pass. I think everybody made it. Yep. Oh man. Still breathing. 11,025 feet. Get your picture, I'll take mine. There's no signal up here. No, it's a Law Canyon. Down around that corner there, we can't really see it yet. Maybe we will when we get down to the tarn. Uh, good climb, good climb. Oh yeah, one more thing. We are the first group on the pass this morning. Nobody passed us coming up. Nobody passed us at camp this morning, and we have not seen anybody going the other direction. All right. So there are no words. Literally no words for this. Lyle Canyon. Wow. So we're still headed down Lyle Canyon. It's pretty though. Tough climb down. Right, so we just stopped at uh, Lyle Creek. First crossing Lyle Creek. A little snack break. Water up. And you gotta do that water crossing down there. But everybody's taking a break. Finishing my breakfast right now, actually. Lenny and Larry cooking. Alright, we stopped off for a little water break and put our feet in the water to cool them off a little bit. This water, it's got to be about 35 degrees, 40 degrees. 
can't keep your feet in it more than a few seconds. So this canyon, Wall Canyon, is about eight miles long. But just eight miles of this. Alright, we're just about I think two miles out from Tuolumne. And the more we descend, the hotter it's getting. I would say it's probably 90 down here right now. Out in the sun. It's pretty brutal. Well, if you ever wondered why they call it Tuolumne Meadows, this is kind of it. And, hmm, see in the distance, that yeah, is smoke, not clouds. That's coming out of uh, Yosemite. Because they probably still got those fires burning down there. Alright. We've come to the Rafferty Creek Bridge. We're 2.3 miles away from the Tuolumne Grill. Smell those hamburgers. Uh, trail junction with the Vogel Sang, High Sierra Camp, Yosemite Valley, 26.4, Rafferty Creek. So we're looking down over into Yosemite Valley and they've got uh, one of those fires still burning. So right now the trails aren't affected so we'll probably continue that way. But uh, hopefully that doesn't change. Alright, Tuolumne Store and Grill Post Office. Just got a uh, awesome burger. And back here is where all the PC tiers and everybody all the bakers come to sit. Hey everybody, it's uh, end of day three. Awesome day today. We did uh, almost 17 miles to Tuolumne Meadows. We did make it, so we're salvaging the trip. Uh, we're in uh, the backpackers camp right now at Tuolumne Meadows, and we're all socked in for the night. Met some cool people today at the uh, grill. Actually over here camping next to us, and. Uh, they're actually summoning Whitney the same day we are, at least by schedule. You know, schedules always change, so who knows. But yeah, we're, uh, over here is uh, me, Brian, and Scott. Uh, Gary and Paul back here behind me. And we just invited a couple back here. They were looking for a camp spot because uh, they're pretty full here today. So it's hard to find places to... Put up a tent so we had an extra space back there so yeah tomorrow the plan is going to 
Sunrise Lakes area, or the trailhead at least, and then looking for a spot after that. We need to go past 12 miles, uh, and everything past Sunrise Turnoff is going to be downhill. The more miles we can get in tomorrow, the less we have to do on Saturday. And we have to be to the visitor center by 5 o'clock on Saturday to catch the bus back to Mammoth. So yeah, man, I tell you what, Lyle Canyon, after we came over Donahue Pass today, was just stunning. There were no words for that. Uh, canyon was like eight or nine miles long. Um, just mind blowing. All right, so I'm gonna show you my tent set up here. This is the Copper Spur HBUL1. enough room in it for one person. Then we have vestibule, I got my, my dirty shoes, stove and gas, my little knee pad here, keep my knees clean. Inside, I put stuff up here I'm going to use in the morning, clothes and all the stuff that goes in my backpack, sleeping bag and pad. I use my backpack as part of my pillow system, just kind of gets my head up a little bit. Uh, I don't really have anywhere else to put it in here anyway since it's a one-man tent, but I do like it this way. It's pretty comfortable. And then all my clothes, uh, puffy, put it on the side here. I can access as easy as I need. 